Hello guys, this is your Uncle Big Fish, and on this video, we will start talking about Titan. And uh, before we get started, I just want to tell you that this uh, area around my place is currently a little bit noisy, so if the voice uh, fluctuates, please uh, pardon me about this, there's not really anything I can do. There is a huge construction going on, but I will do my best to minimize the voice at least. Alright, so, um, let's talk about Titan. The Titan has always been a broken class, ever since before his buff arrived last Tuesday. It was a class that filled every single criteria with flying colors. So let's see his strengths and weaknesses. Regarding the weakness part, um, let's assume he has any. <laughs> Alright. Strengths and weaknesses. Titan has access to arguably one of the b most broken passives in the whole game. The insane natural bulk with addition of spell amp for damage that complements his stab's naturally high base power with an addition of that ridiculous levels of sustain that no other class has ever come even remotely close to. Makes him fit as an extremely powerful wall. And also, a wall breaker. You can go on that route as well. The bulk and sustain alone enabled him to survive crazy damage output. In addition to that, due to having arguably one of the most broken mobility in the game being Lava Piercer, it is capable of outrunning literally almost anything in the whole game. So you can use it to chase people, you can use it to run away, and there's literally almost no class in the whole game that can chase you. So, if that's not bad already, he is also equipped with 3 more mobility skills, with ridiculously low cooldowns. One of them having a staggering 3600% base power during the jump, and this would be the skill Falling Rock. And upon impact of the second hit, including with the first hit as well, it's going to actually deal somewhere around 3,600% damage. And it can crit. So, yeah. The naturally high damage, plus bulk, sustain, mobility, and also the best grab cooldown in the whole game, makes this class truly a menace to deal with. In the arenas, he was always kept in check by arguably the strongest class in the game, being Raven, which had the capability of indefinitely kiting him and being near permanently immune to all forms of damage that a Titan can deal upon her. With the addition of multiple anti-grabs, Raven was the check to Titans for a long time. However, after we talk about Field, and after he kept getting buffs and buffs and even more buffs, Nowadays, not even Raven will be able to deal enough damage to the Titan, especially in field, as he would just shrug it off with that amazing bulk and sustain. And if a single stagger clips, it's pretty much game over, because he's got ridiculous damage and he can just deal so much damage from just the grab opening. Despite this being very unlikely, a single stagger from a Titan is pretty much game over, for not most, if not all classes, as he had the power to deal serious damage from just grab opening, as I've said before. He is also so bulky that he would survive longer than any class ever remotely could. When we first thought about ways to handle him, a couple names arise to the idea. How do you pierce through that huge bulk and sustain? Well, you needed a wall breaker or a class that hits so hard and so quickly that it invalidates heal stalling. When we first had this idea, Eclipse was the first that came to mind, as after the buff and getting the Singularity Break passive on Eclipse, she is now the single strongest wall breaker in the whole game, with arguably the single highest damage output per 3 seconds of all classes. This, however, wasn't the answer as Eclipse had one major problem, grabs. And the class is extremely weak to grabs. And 
guess who has the best grab in the game? Well, Titan. At 6 second effective cooldown, the Titan would just repeatedly grab open the Eclipse until she dries out or dies. And as she isn't exactly the tankiest class in the world, she would fall from just two grab openings. This is we're still talking about field PvP. This time we're not really talking much about arenas because it's getting kind of boring. And um, as she isn't exactly the tankiest class in the world, she would just die from two grab openings. This is pretty much the same outside arenas or inside arenas. It's the same. Because if we're talking balanced CP, a Titan would kill an Eclipse with two grab openings. The next idea was Kunoichi and Sura. Since the buff arrived, they both have amazing catch and can act as a wall breaker due to the 6 pass passive on Sura and the Kunoichi severe bleeding debuff, dealing fixed damage or HP percentage damage. They both also have really good anti-grab properties and a very strong mechanic being they're invisible. This is however not gonna work and I'll explain it in a little bit. For Kunoichi, her damage comes from stacking debuffs over and over and over again and the debuff acts as a damage over time ticker. She also needs to combo to deal the most damage output as her skills have arguably one if not the lowest base power in the game, being only one being the touch of death with the passive flow on dealing 2200. Without the passive flow, it's a very low base power skill at only about 1400 base power, which is extremely poor. Comboing is something that is very unlikely to happen in field as every class have pretty much 24-7 immunity or permanent immunity. The Titan would just shrug it off and whittle the Kunoichi down through multiple tradings or just run away with Lava Piercer and if that happens, there's literally nothing the Kunoichi can do about it because she's got no slows and there's really no way to CC him while he's running. The skill has arguably one of the most crazy location desync in the game and it's just really annoying to fight against. You'd argue that Viper Strike can teleport to the Titan very fast, and you'll be right. But the duration of Viper Strike wouldn't be able to catch up to Lava Piercer, as he would just keep running without stopping. And by the time you teleport to him, he would already be at least 5 meters away. The Lava Piercer doesn't carry SA after all. I mean, it does carry SA. It carries FG and SA. They recently just buffed it. So, now the Sura. This is also the argument that can be made. He's a natural wall breaker even before the buff arrives. He also fits the criteria needed for a class with high damage burst type ability. This, however, won't work as well. And here's why. The answer is actually pretty obvious. The Titan can just run and pretend that you never existed. There's literally nothing you can do about it. You can't chase him after all. You lack the ability to chase him, and you don't carry speed loss or slows, so you can't stop him from running away. Your grab cooldown is extremely long too, so in a battle of attrition, you'd lose. As his stab is also his healing skill, so you'll be taking huge chunks of damage, while he's just healing off damage from potions, the skill Raging Thunder, imprints, passive evasion. Yes, he heals when he uses evasion. He heals. It's... It's the buff. Yeah, it's... It's stupid, I know, but... Yeah. <laughs> and he will also heal from Serret, and most importantly, from meals. Ever since the buff on the new content, the cooking content, where you can actually make food, it actually complements this Titan more than any other class. Because the passive gives you added HP, which means that the HP percentage healing from the meals would improve his overall regeneration. Plus, he's also got 15% HP recovery increase amplification on his passive as well by 15%, which was added on the last buff. All at the same time, if you guys don't know. 
heal heal from all these sources all at once. The Sura simply couldn't deal enough damage to offset the overhealing to break chunks of his HP or stop him from running. And this is why Sura doesn't work either. The, either, the other ideas were, were also quickly dismissed as they are either unable to hit hard enough or just weak to something the Titan had on its arsenal. For example, grabs. Playing against Titan is just truly a nightmare as a single stagger from him basically means game over and there's really nothing you can do about it. If you stall him, you will, you will just get a run because he will just heal back all the damage. And if you try to go aggressive, he'll just run away. This overwhelming advantage simply got way too far. And with the addition of the dish item that gives 35% max HP healing, and the change in minimum damage corresponding to CP difference only makes things worse. In the hands of a whale, I really don't know what kind of problems it could do. These qualities make Titan arguably one-off, if not the strongest class in Black Desert Mobile, in both field and arenas right now. Probably not arenas, but for field, for sure. Strategies that might work. Now, we can talk about this. You will need people that can shut him down. And primarily, you need these four things. You need a wall breaker, something that hits hard enough in a short amount of time to not let his region br brush off the damage that you're dealing. Some ideas are Windwalker, Eclipse, and Archer. Secondly, you'll need to have at least two players with 100% maximum investment on the HP recovery reduction imprints to shut down his healing, or else he'll just brush off all the damage that you guys are dealing. Thirdly, you need a class that can consistently grab him. For that, there's only three that can reliably do this. Probably two. One that has much better grab frames, and one that, can, that also has a long enough grab duration for the wall breakers to do, the, to do their job. Those two are being Yacha and Glad. However, these two will also have a hard time because Glads are much easier to grab and Yacha is also pretty easy to grab by the Titan. So this can go really, really right or really, really wrong depending on who gets the grab first. And lastly, you need something that can disable his mobility. And for this, there's no better choice but the Primrose. With a staggering negative 50% attack speed loss de attack speed loss and movement speed loss debuff, it will really cripple the Titan. However, this is not really a solution by itself because Primrose cannot kill the Titan by herself. Because she lacks damage, and most importantly, she is very weak to grabs. So this roster would be pretty good at handling the Titan, right? So that's like... So that's all good, right? <laughs> well, here's the irony. If you think about it, you need specific imprints investments and multiple specific classes just to do the job. And to make things worse, this is a scenario of three against one. A scenario that is very unlikely to happen because he might have friends. I hope Pearl Abyss actually starts giving pet food medication to Chang Wook, as this is without a doubt one of the most brain dead, idiotic, and most unacceptable action ever done by the head of BDM's game development team. This class seriously needs a huge nerf and readjustments. The way it is now is just plain unfair. It's even more unfair in the arenas. An environment where healing reduction, sustain from potions, and majority of anti-grabs are either disabled or too risky to do. Pearl Abyss just continues to disappoint and disappoint with every coming class balancing patch. They ignored my consultation offer, they ignored your complaints, they ignored your suggestions. Hell, they never even bother to address anything even remotely important about the game going forwards. 
All I can say is, I hope that real changes will, will be made as time goes on. But for now, this is the state of Black Desert Mobile competitive PvP scene. And that's it from me and my today's ranting. I will let the, uh, the video play on with a voice. And if you like the way I dive deep into these more complex aspects about BDM PvP, let me know what you'd like me to talk about next on the comment section down below. And if someone is kind enough to donate on my YouTube thanks, I'll make it happen. I promise. With that being said, this is your Uncle Big Fish. Have a nice day, and I'll see you guys again on the next video. Enjoy the clips, guys.